Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you for ha having us here. Uh, we are very happy to be here. Maybe you won't be uh, very happy in two hours that we have been here. But uh, okay. So the, the problem is a bit. I'm I'm very uh, badly prepared because uh, I I worked uh, on on a. Uh, some ideas uh, to present uh, uh, the canonical formula of Levi-Strauss in this kinship systems, uh, and uh, that uh, had cost me uh, a lot of time. And it, it uh, finally it uh, went uh, havoc yesterday evening when I wanted to finish the last calculations, and then uh, as I always there. Uh, they they didn't come out right, and uh, I was a bit upset. So and now I'm uh, not so well prepared, and uh, so I, maybe uh, if I'm not uh, a bit uh, unclear, uh, I'll just ask, and uh, so that you don't lose uh, the time here. Matty is is better prepared than, than me. So the the idea here was. Uh, um, yeah, to, to speak uh, about this connection uh, between the uh, anthropological uh, theory of kinship and uh, certain uh, mathematical themes that arise also in uh, in the um, in uh, transformational uh, music theory. I mean, uh, I, uh, okay, but. Uh, as I said, uh, I'm for one. I'm far from an expert on the on the transformational music theory. I'm very fascinated and impressed how much the, the field has uh, developed. Uh, uh, four four weeks ago, I, I bought a new book from uh, Julian Hook, and uh, I mean this is really impressive, and uh, uh, just how how advanced uh, the math is. So I, I won't uh, hardly touch on the music. I will mention it uh, occasionally. Uh, basically, the, the parallel uh, between the neo riemann uh, uh, theory and the wall theory kinship is that uh, the wall theory, they use also a dihedral symmetry group for the kinship system uh, as the TI group in, in uh, neo riemann theory. When I started to work uh, on this uh, on this talk, I was very hopeful that uh, one could tie uh, the, this sort of uh, duality idea uh, in the music theory uh, with the, the passion of the wall theory for dualities, for uh, uh, making contrasts, uh, splitting things up. But uh, it finally it. it didn't work out very well, so uh, my ambition wasn't really uh, fulfilled. But okay, let's let's go on. It's, uh, okay, so, so yeah, I don't like yeah. that. Okay, so what we are up to the the, the title here. This is the oh the title is, is gone. Uh, it was this uh, go uh, the the ghostly movements of the yeah it's okay yeah, I I remember the title okay. uh, this is uh, uh, the the ghostly movements now the movements of a ghostly minuet is uh, is a quotation from an Australian uh, anthropologist uh, Phyllis Cabery uh, who uh, wanted to complain in uh, in a paper in the 1930s about this type of uh, diagram which you see here. These uh, were uh, types of uh, diagrams uh, brought up uh, by uh, Radcliffe Brown, uh, uh, very uh, uh, famous uh, and important uh, Australian uh, anthropologist. Uh, and uh, because the kinship systems uh, of the Australian people are so complicated uh, that uh, he needed uh, some uh, diagrammatic form to represent them. And, and here uh, is a typical uh, diagram. Uh, here the Gesellschaft, is, uh, the society is split up in, in uh, eight groups where the equal sign uh, uh, means that the people in, in group A uh, uh, are married to, to people in, in group B. And I suppose normally the, the arrows at, uh, uh, at the sides, they might uh, mean uh, uh, that uh, the the children uh, the uh, 
uh, that the people, uh, for example, uh, the, the, the arrow uh, pointing down from the A bar to the C means that uh, the children, uh, the mother uh, of, uh, of uh, the women in, in A bar have their children in C. I suppose that's uh, normally the, the standard convention because uh, the aboriginals, they favor a bit this matrilineal, uh, uh, it's uh, more, uh, more secure, the maternity uh, on this side. And uh, uh, Phyllis Calvary, she, she complained, uh, complained in this article uh, uh, a lot about this uh, uh, sort of uh, abstract and algebraic approach to things, and uh, this would lose all the the humanity, the life, and uh, the important things, and uh, this is a very typical uh, attitude uh, in uh, for anthropologists. I I know uh, no other science than uh, anthropology where uh, extremely important people uh, complain uh, about the slightest uh, uh, trials to to uh, formalize things to to bring math in. Of course, Levi Strauss, he was uh, was uh, different. Uh, he always uh, tried to to connect it to developments in in mathematics, uh, but uh, it's really striking, and uh, it's a, a attitude uh, that I disapprove uh, because I think it's important, and I think also that uh, also the uh, the mathematical uh, tradition uh, in anthropology is rather small. It has uh, created an uh, well attractive uh, tradition, and uh, uh, me and uh, I think uh, I can speak for Matt too. We would like to uh, uh, sort of uh, carry on this tradition by uh, by uh, presenting things, by uh, thinking on, uh, about it, uh, trying a, a new math uh, uh, on this, and uh, sort of keeping the tradition. Because uh, a lot of the the, uh, the papers uh, who were written uh, are lost, and uh, nobody knows this. Uh, uh, for example, uh, today I, I will present the work of an Australian uh, uh, anthropologist, uh, Peter Lutzig, and uh, uh, he has written a uh, monumental work, uh, genealog ge uh, genealogical symmetries in eighty seven which is a 700 uh, page book uh, on group theoretic applications uh, to kinship uh, in Australia. And it's uh, really an amazing book uh, full of ideas and uh, the mathematical uh, 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 ideas are very sophisticated. He uh, also uh, has uh, tried to, uh, uh, to uh, tie his group theoretical analysis with uh, the use of symmetries in in music in 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 uh, uh, also in in uh, in pictures uh, and uh, in uh, in the in the iconography and it's a very rich book and it's very hard to get uh, i mean my my copy in germany is of 300 kilometers uh, loan uh, and uh, I was very happy to, to have this book done. Okay, uh, what we are up to, uh, uh, oh, I'm losing stuff here. Uh, uh, in, principle, uh, in principle, we want to uh, uh, sort of uh, review the, the uh, tradition that Levi Strauss uh, has created. Uh, and somewhat strangely enough, there were a lot of very uh, 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 famous uh, mathematicians uh, who have uh, contributed to it. Uh, mostly André Weile is uh, certainly the most famous mathematician who, who is uh, also the source of this uh, tradition, this uh, application of group theory for analyzing kinship. And then there the, uh, is Bill Lewier, uh, Jim Lambeck uh, has written on, uh, on kinship. And uh, so it's uh, where it lists us. Uh, and a bit of my uh, my hope is also that uh, I can interest uh, the uh, people here to uh, to uh, take an uh, an interest in this uh, thought because I think that the math is very uh, very um, 
uh, um, yeah, they they are closely uh, related in transformational music theory, and uh, I think the the music theory is a very ripe uh, field, and uh, uh, anthropology could uh, uh, profit uh, from sort of uh, that knowledge of the people and mathematicians take care of this. And uh, okay, so in, in principle, so we, we focus uh, on this uh, paper uh, of Philip Courage and uh, Bill Aweer and S Stephen Chanoel for the math. Uh, also this, this uh, paper from Aweer is very hidden. Uh, I think it's full of good ideas, but it's uh, not easy to, to read and uh, decipher. Not that the math is so complicated, but it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's difficult uh, to to know what's going on. And uh, these uh, two p uh, papers uh, will be presented then by, by Matt later on, so. Okay, and then, yeah, finally we will uh, we'll, uh, end up with this uh, uh, stuff from Peter Lucic, and, and then you are through. And, Ah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, and uh, he, just uh, to uh, occasionally, I will use signs. I mean, finally, I probably I don't really use them. But uh, okay, the the anthropologists they they uh, because uh, when they want to denote an uh, and a kinship uh, relation, they. Uh, use this alphabetical, alphabetical uh, shorthand uh, yeah for example the mmb ddd for the let, let me maybe just focus it in french so that they understand c'est la grande fille du grand oncle maternel sibling sibling c'est non non sibling c'est frère frère et soeur yeah, so, uh, no, no, Un des deux, euh, ah. les, 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 les gendres ne, ne comptent pas. Ah, C'est comme euh, father, mother, parent. D'accord. C'est le père. Et en principe, je ne l'utilise pas. Je juste, je le note quand je l'écris au début de ma présentation. Je l'ai juste le temps. OK. And uh, well, husband and wife. I, I don't use it. Spouse is a mutual for wife. Husband and wife is HF. Yeah. Wife is a for Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's the wife. You. You are right. That's. Yeah. It's. It's. It's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's the double. It's the double. Why should should be a. It's. It's. Yeah. It's. And anyway, it's not uh, actually, I rarely, rarely use the approbation, but uh, occasionally they, they come in handy and uh, people sometimes, I mean, you now you, you pass the test, you are even better as I am in this. Okay, then uh, another uh, uh, words that I will use a lot and matters are, is uh, that uh, the Australian uh, societies, they have this tendency to split up the, uh, the societies and there uh, is a certain tradition in, in anthropology to, to call uh, if it's uh, split up in uh, in uh, two parts in uh, the moiety uh, la moitié uh, and uh, if they split it in four parts uh, the parts are called sections and uh, normally uh, if they split it in eight parts it's a subsection but uh, 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 well I, I will use sometimes the word also in a, in a looser uh, 
sense and speak of uh, 16 uh, subsection society. And, uh, and this will it be split in three parts? Into uh, they they don't do it in in Australia. I, I guess it it should be possible in in uh, if you look in in Anna, but uh, in in principle in in Australia the, it's a very uh, funny uh, uh, system because uh, in in some sense they uh, they there are a lot of uh, uh, cultures and and languages and uh, well. Uh, but uh, they are in some sense all connected, they are all on the same level. Not that, that they are just really equal, but in a way, uh, the, the uh, well, Levi Strauss uh, probably he would say that this is a sort of uh, a set uh, where uh, one uh, society can be transformed in the others. They, they are really closely related and, and look alike. And, and they have uh, uh, sort of settled on this uh, half uh, 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 pattern. Yeah, and, and maybe we should... Sorry. Can I just add something? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it, I would just add that uh, you have to think that Australia, it's been basically... So population has been basically isolated from the rest of the world for 60,000 years uh, until very, very, very recently. And, uh, so, and it's, it's, a, it's a huge continent. It's, it's uh, the same size as the US almost. And, and, and the number of different cultures is, is, is really astonishing. Um, yeah, but maybe in this organization, you can think that they have been somehow isolated and been developing their own. Okay, so just to be clear, each of these terms uh, applies to only one society, like any uh, uh, in particular. Like there is no yeah, yeah. a single society that uh, at the same time is different, like split in no, no. and sexual. Mm. No, no, the, we will see that the, the, the wall, period, wall period, they split, have uh, eight subsections. But then they uh, they have uh, sections and uh, uh, moieties as well. All together. Yeah. Mm. No, it, it's really and uh, the funny thing uh, in, in principle, uh, uh, eight subsections uh, is the is the uh, hugest number and it's uh, prestigious, and uh, so they they despise uh, the the wall pair, for example, they despise the societies. Uh, who, who have just four or let alone two. And uh, it, it seems that this really works that uh, uh, societies who have only a section system uh, try to uh, to uh, learn the, uh, the subsection system. Uh, and uh, it's, I, I find it an intriguing uh, thing that this works. And most, uh, one, I've read this often uh, uh, that uh, people write that it's the sort of fashion to have eight, but uh, well, I don't think it's a it's a very good expl uh, explanation for this. Uh, that it to me it looks like a sort of a tractor uh, for this whole uh, pool of uh, uh, cultures in in Australia to to refine their their uh, social system. Uh, and, and but uh, in fact, I'm I'm not uh, uh, I'm I'm a mathematician, mathematical linguist from training. I'm also uh, very much an, an armchair and hobby anthropologist, so I have no real uh, authority to, to anything. Okay. Yeah, and uh, sometimes these sections are, are named, uh, sometimes not, and uh, one speaks uh, indifferently, uh, uh, uses the time, uh, whether they are named or not. But uh, then, uh, normally, they are not more than, than eight uh, named subsections, but uh, there are analysis uh, where uh, for example, Barbara Klosewski, a Parisian uh, anthropologist, uh, she uh, often proposes uh, a sixteen subsection uh, analysis for society, and these are rarely named. Uh, and uh, 
And then uh, there is also an, uh, another uh, term, uh, it's uh, skin. And this is, uh, is, uh, is an uh, Aboriginal term uh, that uh, the Aboriginal uh, uh, use themselves. And they are, well, I'm not sure if it's uh, well defined, but uh, I would suppose that uh, I would apply the, the, the term skin only when, uh, they are, when there are names uh, for it. That is uh, when the... C'est la peau. C'est la peau. And uh, I, I think that uh, uh, this uh, question, what's your skin, uh, should be uh, uh, intel uh, intelligent for, uh, for an Aboriginal. I mean, uh, the, the 16th subsection. Uh, Barbara Klosevsi uh, can't ask uh, no one in, in Australia which uh, of, of an unnamed. But uh, this is a, is a very uh, a daily question and important for the, for the people there uh, because uh, to, to know the skin uh, 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 means to, to know in what uh, sort of uh, uh, kinship relation one stands. And no difference of color of the skin of the, the same groups or no no it's it's uh, the uh, no no it's it's not a color it is it is just that it, it's not really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, these skins they they are also they uh, they subsume uh, real kin but in principle they, uh, they are general systems for example, Barbara Klosewski, she has a skin uh, because uh, if somebody comes uh, from the outside and works in the in her wall parry, she's a great specialist for the wall parry and works there, uh, then uh, one is automatically uh, adapted to a skin uh, to that people can sort of know how to, to treat one. And, Perhaps like we speak in French sometimes of blood, you see in novel uh, tradition, some kind of blood and you do the sample, you do the sample, you can be said that the, 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 the kind of. Okay, and. Oh, well, it seems weird because uh, apparently if you work in a certain place, you have a certain skin. Yeah, but like in French, you say bleu, you saw the blood. And, uh, yeah, but the that's, novel that's that's like, uh, something I am the lord of this country. Yeah, but mm -hmm. something like that you encouraged by uh, birth. I mean, here, I think it's something you acquire through uh, social practice. Yeah, but it's by birth to society to bring to the world. So, I am, you know. In in yeah, it's a, it's a bit uh, difficult with the skin because in principle it it runs uh, on the on the real uh, biological kinship. But uh, one starts to call, uh, in, in principle, these are uh, uh, social groups, uh, social centric uh, terms, but uh, they really uh, subsume uh, the real kin. And then the, the name, for example, uh, if the father of, uh, of somebody is in a skin, then uh, all the, the, uh, the men in this uh, skin group uh, are called fathers. So it's 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 a bit tricky. It's it's more on the on the uh, on the social side uh, because it's it's uh, one word. Uh, it's not relative. It's not uh, that the skin names uh, change. It's it's a, a bit like uh, like a, a family name. One can say it's it's. Uh, I, as I, I told you, I'm not a great specialist, but I think, uh, in effect, uh, the uh, wallpaper person has three names. And uh, the one is a sort of conception name, uh, which is uh, tied to his character. It's, it's a sort of uh, a spirit that enters his, his, uh, uh, his mother uh, uh, when she gets pregnant. And then uh, there is a secret name, which is uh, a, a song, a song title. They they have uh, a, a marvelous uh, culture, uh, sacred culture, and they have a lot of of uh, sacred songs. 
and they they use uh, uh, phrases and text from these songs to name the people and uh, this is the sort of the secret name which which isn't used and what the people really use is this skin name so they they uh, refer to uh, to uh, people with with the name of the of the skin it's it's a bit maybe like anderson as a family name is a, a bit of mixer and uh, one of the funny things about the war period is, well, it's not about the war period especially, but they do it, is if somebody dies there, uh, then uh, the, they, they can't use the, the name. And uh, the, this, and for example, for the, the sacred song name, this means that in the ritual where the song is, uh, is used, they just leave out uh, the name. So they they are uh, then uh, sort of holes in the in the text and uh, and uh, the skin name is uh, is in principle uh, the sort of uh, doesn't fall under the taboo, but all the other names uh, they can't be mentioned uh, from anybody in the society. I, I I'm not sure if they if they stick to these rules uh, uh, today. Uh, still, because uh, this has changed. What I present here is it's a bit the, the sort uh, how they uh, uh, the uh, classical traditional uh, society uh, where the research started in the 1950s uh, have found. That. Okay. Well, their their culture they they have this uh, dream time uh, animistic. Uh, 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 mythology and this is a certain uh, um, yeah mythological uh, time uh, uh, long ago uh, where uh, uh, dream time heroes and dream uh, uh, so-called dreamings uh, created the world and created all the, the uh, social rules and and uh, uh, they then vanished uh, from the earth and and uh, very often uh, uh, let's sacred signs, uh, sites, and signs of their uh, uh, doings uh, on the on the ground. The, the wall pair they have a very uh, 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 fascinating uh, uh, relation to the ground. Uh, this is a, is a huge uh, desert uh, where, they, where they have their, their territory, and uh, they they uh, sort of have uh, sacred tracks uh, everywhere and sacred sites and in principle they they have uh, almost no artifacts uh, very few there, there are no houses no no uh, no things but they have a extremely rich uh, uh, semiotic uh, culture of of uh, amazing richness in fact i i had uh, the first time uh, 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 from the wall period when I was studying linguistics, uh, because there is a famous uh, MIT linguist uh, uh, who has done a lot of re research, uh, and uh, uh, and there I, I heard it uh, the first time because that guy is also in linguistics and legend. Okay, yeah, here I list a bit uh, the famous people. This this was uh, mostly started by by A. P. Alkin in the fifties. He pushed his students to work on them because uh, they had this uh, rather remote uh, desert uh, territory, and so they had uh, less contact with uh, uh, with the Western society then. And uh, one of his students were were this Marvin Maggot, uh, who wrote this classical uh, monograph on them. There's uh, uh, also then uh, important work done by N Nancy uh, Mann on the on the uh, drawing style of the Walpiri. Uh, also very very uh, uh, amazing uh, uh, aesthetics. Uh, I, I will say a few words later on. Okay, then uh, the famous uh, Ken Hale, who, who established a um, uh, sort uh, on the on the map. There are a lot of monographs, or not a lot, but uh, well, they are well documented. And then uh, there came uh, uh, female uh, researchers in the in the seventies and and eighties, 
and uh, among them, this, uh, I think she's American, Diane Bell, and uh, Barbara Klosowski, who is the great uh, specialist uh, here in, in Paris for, for them. Excuse me, because I'm absolutely ignorant of this. Do you have a photo of uh, one of your people? Mm -hmm. Just so that it, because it's so abstract for now. And the, the photo of the geography to see geography. Yeah, if you if you if you think uh, that uh, this map is uh, is uh, Australia, then they they would be. Uh, uh, they, no. Yeah, I I guess the, the, the form the form is, I think the form is okay in the interior. Oh, I can't. The, the point they they would be there in the central desert in the western part. Quasi in the in the in the center, but a, a bit uh, going to the to the north uh, to the to the north. Nice. How, how do I? Uh, I'm not able to point. I'm afraid here. Sorry. It's uh, wow. Well, uh, and what what can I say? Yeah. In, in principle, uh, all, all the tribes uh, uh, to the north, uh, closer to the coast, are very famous in anthropology. The, the Morgan tribe, uh, they are uh, uh, on, the, on the northern uh, coast up to them. And uh, there's a, a, an Aranda tribe a bit uh, to the south of them. And uh, this Aranda tribe is also a, a classical uh, tribe uh, of the Australian anthropology. Okay, and here uh, it's uh, sadly, uh, as I'm uh, badly prepared, uh, here you can see the skin names. These are the, the skin groups. It's sadly a bit uh, already too, too complicated. We, we have uh, here the, the, the groups, uh, uh, for example, the Nakamara, Chakamara on the, on the left. Uh, uh, this is one section and the Nakamara are the women in the in the section and the chakamara are the men and uh, this uh, pattern that uh, the woman names uh, starts with an n it uh, goes through all the skins and so we have here uh, eight uh, skin pairs the, i i also i apologize uh, uh, apologize because I, I don't really know how to pronounce them and it's uh, probably very very bad for a uh, uh, for a speaker or a native speaker, uh, let alone how I uh, pronounce them. And okay, yeah, this is. Uh, I I will explain. This is in principle already too uh, too complicated because it uh, shows it. it uh, well, it's well. I I don't like this this sort of uh, display here with the father to child and so. On. But you see, in, in principle, uh, uh, each of the skin ha has another skin uh, for intermarriage. They can't uh, marry. Uh, at least uh, ideally, they can't marry another. Uh, they they have to come from from uh, this skin. And then there are links uh, uh, which uh, determine where the where the children uh, go. And, uh, you have not the same skin than your father, so that's that's You have the same skin because if you are the yeah, yeah, child yeah. of mm. the father, you right, are right. Mm. 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 Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, so, uh, it's an extremely uh, uh, extra game as. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's the reason why you, you don't have the, the arrows on the other side for one of the squares, you know? Because mm -hmm. because then I think that you would turn in something like uh, return into the same uh, log or mm -hmm. something, but if you, I don't know, mm -hmm. continue mm -hmm. being. Mm -hmm. There are. And it is. It is there, there are sort of mm -hmm. two separate uh, mm -hmm. structures. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the one is uh, going on the opposite there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. When in, in... So, one is coming
Trump or Trump fight, yeah. and the other is there. Just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in in the middle are the the matricidals uh, where the mother's go. This is is uh, uh, has long sp uh, length four, four, and uh, the the double arrows are the the patricycles, uh, father and son. They come back uh, after one generation, so they are short uh, and. Uh, it's uh, in principle, it's uh, like the TI group in, in uh, uh, music theory, but it's uh, a smaller dihedral group. Well, you, you will see this uh, diagram uh, at nauseam uh, uh, today. Uh, Okay, and uh, here uh, is a quote uh, a bit about uh, uh, the warfare philosophy. It uh, comes from Ken Hale, uh, and uh, he uh, stresses two things. This uh, eternal logic uh, uh, is uh, that things uh, come back, uh, and uh, there's not uh, this uh, idea of a, of a, a continuous development or even... Uh, Part, uh, part uh, of this uh, eternal logic is, is uh, that, in principle, that uh, people uh, can't die of natural causes, for example. Uh, if, somebody, uh, if somebody dies in a warfare society, uh, then uh, they uh, automatically uh, have to punish somebody. And normally, they, they wait, or I mean, this tradition uh, changed, but uh, they... they uh, raided uh, the, their neighbors uh, to avenge the, the murder of their, their dead. In, in principle, it's impossible for a person to, to die by, uh, by a natural cause. Only children uh, who apparently uh, count as full persons already when they are very small, they can die. And, uh, and, and maybe very old people too. But uh, uh, normal people can't uh, die in natural course. I'm sorry, why you call it eternal logic and, just, and not just a simple cyclical, cyclical logic? Because we have cyclical logic and linear logic, no? So why eternal? Well, I mean, uh, he, he doesn't uh, use it in, uh, as a, as a well-defined term in logic here in this case. The idea is that, that there is no uh, no progression of time. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't thought about it, but it will come up uh, uh, later on, and uh, where where I think that. Uh, 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 I will illustrate that uh, they are in, in kind in in their uh, kinship system in the group they use they encode the idea uh, that uh, there is just uh, one generation, one uh, eternal who is always present. It's not a, a, a following of uh, of generations and. Uh, uh, and they are, uh, I think the the idea becomes maybe more. But I, I don't think that uh, Ken Hale would be uh, very fixed uh, on this term. It's the term eternal. But uh, the the the, uh, the cyclicity, I think, is an idea to to undermine uh, the the time. In in, in a sense. Uh, Okay, uh, if if the sun uh, comes back to the uh, to uh, uh, as a grandson to in in the in the father's skin after four generations, it's it's a bit like uh, sort of playing tricks with with this uh, generational high. But it's not resurrection. It's no, no, they don't have to. So it's just, uh, I will raise this this point uh, when when I come to the generational structure. Uh, and uh, uh, there, I also I wondered why they don't uh, because uh, also the the generation is eternal uh, and uh, like a, 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 a student nuns uh, an, an eternal moment. Uh, of course, they allow people to uh, to be born into the generation. 
but uh, they don't uh, allow them to to uh, to leave at least uh, without uh, unnatural causes but okay may maybe i'm also too talkative about it okay and well what an important is okay yeah this is maybe not so important then uh, okay this uh, logic of uh, complementarity and there i i hope that it could be a bit pinned uh, uh, on this uh, uh, idea of moritz hauptmann and uh, hugo riemann uh, who have this uh, sort of opposition uh, of major against minor and uh, that, uh, because they they wall period the wall period they also they like to in some sense uh, set up the things uh, one against uh, each other and uh, but uh, finally I mean we we will see it uh, when when one sees how the the section and subsections uh, work together and and sort of uh, contrast uh, are in contrast uh, to. To each other as well. They are, this illustrates that, but I, I couldn't have, I hadn't, it hadn't much uh, resonance, this uh, sort of uh, duality between major and minor triads uh, for their uh, social organization. Mm -hmm. uh, unity of opposites before, was it like, uh, did you have a specific meaning uh, at that time? Well, it's it's uh, still this uh, this uh, quoting of of Ken Hale. I, I, I mean, of course, in in the mythology, there are often uh, the 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 principles which are opposed. For example, uh, father, uh, water, and fire, and and things like this. And. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't have, I, I, I hoped, uh, of course, for this uh, Lavirian stuff that is Hegelian, uh, that this could be factored in, but I never saw a, a chance to do it. So, yeah. and, and this is still the, 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 the quote from Hale. He, he uh, didn't think uh, of, of a precise term. But... But I think he, he captured it rather well. He, he also, he, he uh, yeah, I haven't quoted it, but he, he makes a lot of caveats to it to make such general statements uh, uh, on the society. And, but, but he does it. And I think it's, it's a good uh, which represents it. OK, uh, one uh, very uh, interesting thing, uh, they, they have this uh, chiduary uh, 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 language game is maybe not the word. They, they, uh, they, are, they, they have a very long uh, period of male uh, uh, initiation. So the, the uh, boys get uh, uh, circumcised, I guess, uh, the first time with, uh, with 13, uh, which is a very important uh, uh, event uh, because th there they sort of uh, uh, acquire their, their uh, father-in-law. Because uh, normally the the uh, man who is circumcises the boy uh, uh, sort of owes him a girl, a, a, a wife afterwards, and uh, but uh, this initiation process is very long, and this is uh, the circumcision is just the uh, the beginning and. Uh, Maybe not, not even the beginning is uh, the first one I know. And uh, in 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 an intermediate phase uh, uh, of the ceremony uh, uh, is this uh, chili berry uh, uh, game uh, where apparently the the uh, uh, boys are also a bit mocked uh, by the older boys because they are now sort of uh, ridiculous because uh, they are no longer children, but uh, they don't, uh, they aren't yet uh, a man. Uh, and uh, for this, they have this, uh, this language uh, game uh, where they just uh, say the opposite uh, from the things that they, they mean. And uh, they, they teach this uh, language uh, to, the, uh, to the boys. And uh, this is uh, very interesting because uh, uh, with this uh, uh, game, one can uh, one can really see which concept com complements the, the other com uh, 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 concept. 
and uh, uh, it's, it's quite amazing. I, I have noted it uh, because uh, one can test also the kinship structure with this term. One, one sees, for example, which uh, skins they oppose there. And uh, also which, which uh, uh, kinship terms. For example, they, they have a kinship term which, uh, which in principle uh, uh, covers it's the same uh, word uh, like uh, a cousin in English uh, for, the, for male and female. But if they use it in the game, uh, the, the female uh, gets another uh, a term as opposed. And uh, it's, it's quite amazing. Uh, it's, sadly, I, I know just uh, of this one paper of Ken Hale about it, and uh, uh, nobody else uh, mentions it. And, uh, I, I quote it here because it uh, brings up these pairs in the, uh, in the skin structure, and I will probably. Uh, Can you come back to the previous slide? Okay. Just to understand the in the center, the another one stays on east or I am going to west. This means like there are intricate oppositions, like uh, there is an uh, the self and the other. Like, yeah, yeah, there, it, it, and it, then there is a staying and going. Yeah, so they're yeah. all intricate in the same. So it's not like a it's not really logical opposition in the common sense. It's something more intricate somehow. And that it really has to do with semantics. Uh, yeah, uh, Hale, he, he uh, uh, says that it would uh, show that uh, uh, the contrast is minimal. That is, uh, for example, they would, uh, when they use uh, a, a plant term, they would then uh, uh, take as, uh, as a uh, replacement an extremely closely related plant, but not yet that plant. Yeah. And uh, uh, for example, uh, in the in the in the skin terms here, uh, he he uh, stresses the fact uh, that uh, uh, these pairs they have in principle uh, uh, every uh, kinship structure in uh, in uh, in common, and they just uh, uh, sort of uh, different differentiate themselves uh, by being themselves, but they are the same uh, patrimoniality. And um, the same, maybe. Well, what what do we have? Uh, the, the same generation. So uh, it's it's just uh, the the minimal uh, opposition, the minimal difference you can make in the systems. And these pair the uh, pairs show also up uh, uh, when uh, you don't make the the ideal uh, marriage uh, and you ma marry in the in the wrong skin. Then uh, the wrong skin uh, can be replaced by uh, just these pairs. So it's uh, uh, sorry if they make an error with the marriage, uh, they make the minimal error with the skin. But uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, shortly uh, a, a word about this uh, iconography uh, where. Nancy Mann uh, has done uh, interesting work, and, and their main observation is uh, that uh, uh, that uh, the 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 laws uh, that uh, that apply to their pictures uh, it's uh, that uh, that everything uh, uh, is just shown uh, from a, a flat perspective, just what what is on the uh, on the on the surface. And uh, uh, well, I, I've used the, the uh, steps of the kangaroo here as an example. This is a picture of a, of a kangaroo uh, for the for the wall theory. Uh, uh, another, I don't know. Very, very typical, uh, for example, uh, I have five. Is this and. This could be uh, four people uh, uh, sitting around a fire. In principle, it's uh, it's a bit uh, probably uh, 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 the the signs they could mean other things, and uh, uh, also the uh, the uh, you you lose a bit uh, this uh, difference uh, 
between uh, uh, containing and so things become very ambiguous uh, if you just uh, view it as a as a uh, this flat perspective and it's it's uh, uh, sadly I I don't have photos uh, uh, it's it's really a very unique style uh, <coughs> aesthetically a bit like Cuban which is uh, which strikes you if you see it. No, no. Um, uh, I just, uh, I, uh, this, this is me. Yeah, yeah. Why very they make contacts? Well, uh, it faces, faces uh, it, it's, the rest. it's what you don't see uh, in the surface. And it, it also sh shows a bit this uh, sort of uh, extreme uh, uh, relatedness to the, to the ground, to the sort of uh, fascination. It's really, a, a, I, I find it a rather intriguing relation to sort of Latin. And also, they are, all their dream time heroes, they, they uh, I guess, uh, they, it started a bit uh, when they came, uh, the, the, the world was uh, completely empty and they came out of the ground and then they did their, their, their things and uh, built uh, the mountains and and what and afterwards they go back into the ground and, and they they well the, the war period they were uh, hunters and gatherers and they they were very keen in in reading uh, signs on the ground and apparently uh, for example they had a possibility to to spot uh, if if there were was a track of of the wife was uh, crossed by a man uh, this uh, instantly uh, led to a to a fight uh, between the men, because uh, and Morphy uh, uh, husband uh, would know who who has crossed it, and it's like sort of uh, adultery even crossing the twice. And uh, and uh, I well I. Hmm. Well, I, I bring it up uh, because uh, finally I will illustrate a bit uh, that uh, uh, partly the uh, sorts of the metaphysics and uh, philosophy can be expressed by topology uh, and uh, by surface uh, topology that captures uh, part of this thing. So it, in, in a sense, it comes out uh, neatly. I think it's, excuse me for people asking questions that I have mm -hmm. made a problem the following. So I think I, I got a sense on uh, what you were up to, as you said, like uh, mm -hmm. understanding this mm -hmm. uh, structure of kinship. Uh, but I, what's your intention? Uh, can you repeat what's your intention or purpose on for doing it? Like, um, are you in, is it uh, to try to understand? Uh, uh, for a uh, particular mathematical uh, uh, idea, or maybe an application, or actually it's uh, on the anthropology side. Uh, uh, well, I, I mean, I'm I'm personally a, a, a structuralist, so uh, just this idea that uh, there is this uh, sort of. Uh, a kinship group uh, which explains the uh, uh, the whole culture uh, it's very attractive to me and uh, barbara Grosevsky, uh, she she has uh, maybe well she wouldn't probably not call herself a structuralist but uh, there's uh, she also works with this uh, uh, topological ideas uh, and uh, tries to uh, bring out an, an abstract uh, structure in there and and uh, the the funny thing about the wall theory is that uh, well it 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 
might work uh, certainly better than in most other societies, uh, especially because there's a lot, a uh, lot of really great work uh, available. In them. I have also, well, I don't know if I, I have uh, on my reference, I, I have also noted a, a, a article by an a, a, music uh, music uh, theorist uh, who analyzes the the uh, the uh, music uh, system of the of the war theory at the end was Trevor Jones just maybe uh, bring uh, some people to get uh, look this up I, I I read the article but it's a bit uh, beyond my uh, my possibilities so I, I I unfortunately I I couldn't uh, find anything for my uh, exposition or presentation here tonight. but uh, uh, this is also I, I think uh, if everyone really sort of uh, want to probe into the structuralist ideas these are really uh, fascinating and uh, I mean I, I didn't know uh, when when I started to work I thought uh, just uh, about this dihedral uh, idea I, I knew the the uh, the uh, the dihedral, uh, dihedral group in the music theory and I thought it would be good uh, to to bring this out here at the Erkan. and uh, then I entered uh, a bit uh, the wall theory world and it's uh, really uh, well it's interesting but even there uh, maybe okay that that it's, it's not that uh, they are so special the wall theory among the australians uh, it's just they they are well researched they have a complex system uh, well they have their eight and so but it's not uh, that that they are like people from another planet in australia it's rather in many ways also very typical okay yeah and then uh, we have this quote from Maggot, uh, who uh, sort of uh, uh, tells this one myth about uh, the uh, creation of the subsection system. And uh, here, uh, the people, they blame it on the uh, uh, ibis totem, uh, uh, the bird, uh, who apparently uh, uh, is so lazy and want to die. And well, it's it's not uh, possible. I mean, here he, he speaks of the per, uh, of the people, the ibis. But uh, it seems that the ibis himself, in in the next myth here, he wanted to die. And uh, also there, uh, yeah, the, these are the, the ibis, these are, uh, the dream time heroes uh, uh, between man and and bird. Uh, and uh, when they have uh, done their deed, they, they want to die and. Uh, have it done and uh, even there they get problems with the rain and uh, the, the sun and uh, and so and it, it shows uh, very clearly that uh, the subsection systems this cyclone is uh, sort of overcoming the idea of of death to uh, to uh, uh, freezing time uh, in a way okay Okay, then, okay, this and probably skip this here. Is there something interesting? Yeah, yeah, uh, as, I, as I said, uh, in, in my view, and uh, I am now, sorry, I view it as a sort of mixture between genealogy and, and uh, metaphysics, this kinship system. It certainly has a great, uh, a great uh, uh, organizational uh, force for the society as a whole, uh, how people behave and uh, relate uh, to each other. And uh, also how they, uh, the Australian societies uh, relate uh, to each other. Because in principle, uh, all the, the societies have such uh, section or subsections. And uh, if they come uh, uh, to visit uh, another group, they are automatically uh, just uh, taken over in the same uh, subsection. Of, uh, very often the names are the same. And so uh, it's as organization, it's very good. But now we, we should, yeah, here, here is a, a kinship graph. Can I make it? 
Can you can you read it? Okay. Okay. Um, that's the the ego. It's just a weird moment. Found it off the map. Okay. Uh, this is the is the term uh, for for uh, for the man. Uh, uh, here is this, uh, is the older brother, the older sister, and uh, here are the the terms for the younger and uh, the sister and brother. And uh, uh, the first thing uh, when uh, when one sees uh, that uh, mother and aunt go by the same term. And uh, uh, equally, the father and uh, his brother on the father's side go by the uh, by the same term. And the same pattern uh, uh, can can be found in in the other generations. Uh, the the Raja grandmother is the same with the great uncle. There they, they don't even make uh, differences in the, in the gender. And here one sees one of the of the big. Uh, uh, Problems in, in kinship this is to, to uh, how to account for this irregularity of the uh, of the uh, terminology. It is uh, the pattern uh, how uh, uh, certain relatives get the same the same name, and uh, this uh, shows that uh, the the uh, Walker is a so-called uh, uh, bifurcate. This says they make a difference between the uh, father and mother sides in in, uh, in all uh, through all the, the generations, and uh, and uh, then they merge. They don't make a difference between uh, the mother and the aunt or the father and the and uh, in the, uh, the English or Western European system. It's a so-called uh, 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 non-merging because, uh, of course, we make uh, a difference between uh, the father and the uncle, and uh, we are non before uh, before because we don't make a uh, difference between the fathers and the mothers. Yeah, they are normally uh, count uh, as the same, in the... and here one one sees also the pattern that. It's not uh, just important uh, that uh, you, you, you do it in, in one generation, uh, this, uh, this difference uh, or the, let's say the, the merger between mother and aunt, it projects uh, through, the, uh, through the, uh, the generations and in, in some sense in this, in, in this uh, genealogical logic, uh, uh, it's not uh, the, the person, uh, uh, Self who counts, but in, in a sense, uh, the, the logic uh, uh, of his ancestors or even his, his children. So it deprises a, a bit the logic, and this is partly captured by the, the weird talkers. So, uh, and uh, as I said, uh, this is one of the of the uh, big uh, problems: uh, how to account for these differences uh, in kinship uh, terminology, terminology in, uh, throughout the world. And this was also the the classical historical start for the for the theory uh, with uh, with Morgan. Oh, how is Henry the do you know the, the, the first Henry name? Lewis. Henry Louis Morgan, yeah. The, I mean, uh, uh, was a huge influence on Marx and Engels uh, when he published his, his uh, first studies uh, on uh, kinship terminology. And uh, the, the second problem is, uh, are then the, oh, what's, oh, I have it small, huh? Uh, well, it's the first time that I do this kind of presentation here oh my, okay yes okay yeah here here uh, i have it uh, it's an occasion also uh, to uh, to show that in principle uh, 
um, like Nagati in this uh, things, it induces an equivalence relation. And uh, this, for example, is also a pattern uh, which holds uh, uh, throughout the musical systems where a lot of uh, things which aren't uh, equivalent, uh, aren't the same, are uh, uh, set equivalent in equal temperament and uh, even octave equivalent. And uh, it's probably also a bit uh, uh, which underlies the, uh, the closeness of uh, music and uh, the, the kinship problems. Uh, Peter Lusic in this in this uh, monumental work he he discusses this uh, and stresses the the uh, term, uh, the, the closeness between uh, the musical. Uh, uh, what would you call it? musical theory? But they are, for example, I, I would think uh, that, for example, uh, nowadays uh, one would have much better possibility and uh, one knows much more about music to make this uh, comparison to kinship system. Because he uh, works uh, when he uh, discusses uh, this uh, parallelism in his book, he, he assumes. Uh, uh, all the time that uh, uh, symmetries in music are uh, um, cyclic groups, uh, uh, infinite cyclic groups and uh, uh, the, uh, the 12 cyclic groups. And of course, nowadays, nobody, uh, one, there are a bestiarium of groups available and, and other thoughts available in the theory. So. I, I think what one could uh, uh, sort of improve or uh, redo his, his, uh, his things with, with a final. Okay, then we have that. Oh. Okay, yeah, what, what tools the, uh, uh, do the anthropologists uh, use to describe this equ equivalence classes? Uh, well, uh, one idea is uh, once uh, you identify uh, uh, the class which groups mother and mother sister, this Gnati term, uh, you could uh, try to, to say that uh, the real meaning of uh, uh, Nagati is mother, and then you uh, sort of apply rules to extend it. And because uh, uh, the terms like uh, uh, mother sister, uh, it's uh, a, a word in a language over uh, this alphabet of uh, mother, father, uh, daughter, and sister. Uh, you, you can use these uh, ideas uh, of rewriting rules and get a, a syntax. Uh, and this uh, was uh, developed uh, by, by uh, Lonsbury and, uh, and Scheffler. And Scheffler is a, a big guy and he has uh, analyzed a lot uh, of societies with this uh, framework. And uh, the other idea is to, to see that, uh, well, an, a term like M said, it's like a, a product in a, in a algebra, and uh, you uh, try to uh, describe uh, 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 this uh, equivalence classes uh, uh, induced by the same uh, names. Uh, uh, as uh, congruences in, in an algebra. And there are people, uh, in principle, they use the uh, monoids, uh, uh, semi-groups uh, are also an idea to, to do it. And this are, uh, has been pursued here. Uh, uh, the operator is multiplication on the left, hmm? meaning. Uh, well, it's more, it's, it's, it's just a position of the letter. But you don't have the other way around, like you can have Z and sister, like that. Sister's mother? Well, I, I mean, it's, uh, it, it denotes sister's mother. Of course, uh, you, you have uh, better terms uh, to, uh, because it's uh, normally your own mother, so, so, so you wouldn't name it. But in, in principle, in this monoidal uh, um, approach, you uh, I mean, even what uh, Matt is, presents uh, uh, with the Lavia, you start with, in principle, uh, an alphabet mother and father, and you uh, you form all the products. It's the word the word algebra to to do it. 
the, the trigger thing is a bit uh, if you uh, want to to handle the, uh, the the languages more complex languages uh, you also need uh, terms for for the children you you have to uh, uh, sort of uh, find a good alphabet otherwise you run in this problem with the, the sister sister's mother uh, where you could also say mother and uh, so it's not used so you have to find a, a very good adapted uh, alphabet to, to do it and this is also i mean uh, i i like this semi group uh, inverse semi group st uh, stuff uh, a lot uh, there exists uh, basically just one paper uh, about it, uh, but uh, I'm also uh, in in music theory. The inverse semi groups aren't uh, that much used. Uh, yeah. but the, the algebra is alternative. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think uh, like uh, with bracket with uh, uh, parentheses. Like uh, if you say the mother of like M of M is V, it's actually the same as uh, like. Uh, and yeah, I, I think the, 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 the basic uh, assumption is that uh, the algebra is uh, associative, it, it, it works in principle, but it is contested. Uh, there are, uh, I, I have never understood the examples, but uh, there are cases where people argue that uh, it's not uh, really in general associative. This, uh, yeah, but hmm. alternative, that's why I said a little hmm. bit more general. Certainly mm -hmm. would mean like mm -hmm. the real identity, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. alternative would just uh, like arrow mm -hmm. from uh, mm -hmm. where what kind of parentheses for the other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I don't know any case where that's realized, but maybe. Yeah, I mean, as mm -hmm. one says, uh, general, the, the, the social media associated media, you have the free mm -hmm. gonoid and this set of to, to tell the truth, uh, even if one makes this uh, associativity uh, assumption, uh, uh, one uh, can handle a lot of cases and uh, it's uh, already very difficult. There are uh, proposals uh, to, to uh, use, uh, in principle, uh, something like a magma where you just can, uh, uh, I don't know, that's also, it's a bit more than a magma, I think. Uh, I don't know. If there, there is a slash operation you can you can uh, you can do, but uh, it's also uh, it's a very uh, people uh, hate this. A few people uh, do this. A, a lot of the uh, of the uh, literature is very old, and uh, the students they, they don't learn this, uh, and and they hate it. Uh, even. I, I find it, uh, I, I, I don't like it that this tradition dies out. And uh, there is uh, a newly published uh, uh, book on uh, kinship theory, uh, formal kinship theory by uh, Dwight Reed. Uh, uh, but otherwise, it's really uh, nobody does anything there. And uh, well, I, I don't like the state. And so I, I well, I'm also, I, I haven't really uh, made contributions, but uh, I thought with presenting this, uh, we want to fight it with this uh, attitude to, to let all these old ideas uh, go. And uh, OK, let's go on here. OK, the, this I've already said. Uh, it's general uh, before okay, merging type. And OK, then the English I've also said. Well, uh, yeah, there is uh, this, this idea. It, it looks a bit like octave equivalence. Uh, for example, if you have mother and father in, in the English system, of course, they are different uh, words, but uh, they don't make uh, a difference once you look uh, in the, in the uh, they have no impact on their general, uh, in general. And uh, it's a bit with the octave uh, equivalence as well. I think, uh, well, I mean, this octave equivalence may be not a right good uh, uh, point to make, but uh, this, this idea that uh, 
the uh, um, kinship uh, uh, and uh, music, they uh, work a lot with this uh, equivalence relations uh, and uh, to, to uh, put uh, things uh, together in neat bundles which uh, maybe underlies also this idea uh, or this similarity in the mathematical uh, concept uh, which, which come up. Okay, this I also said, oh yeah, it's, this is you. And now the real math ones, yeah, the real math. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, okay. Let's um, see what we have here. Well, okay. This is not me, but uh, maybe we can um, leave this up for a second. I mean, it would take me a minute. <laughs> Do you want to comment on this, uh, Thomas? So, I, I have to actually. I mean, this is the correct. When they and there is trust in in the sentence oh. you brought up this uh, uh, this uh, concept of a. Uh, uh, this is the, the second big uh, problem in kinship uh, is the, the relation to marriage system. And uh, in the thesis, uh, when Stoss uh, looked uh, especially uh, at this uh, societies that uh, have a, a, a strict marriage rule where you have to marry a kin, at least uh, somebody you can call by a kin name. And he calls them uh, the elementary st uh, structures and uh, in principle, this is what it seems to be, because they were formalized in a very elegant paper by uh, Philip Courage in his uh, Studio and Sacrifice. I invite everybody to do it. Right. So, yeah, so that's in contrast to the, the elementary systems, then are in, in contrast to these. Um, these complex systems where you might have like uh, prohibitions on the um, on the uh, um, on the allowed marriages, right? Rather than just uh, having a prescription to marry into a, a certain uh, section. Um, so that's just the the, the, the terminology. Um, and uh, yeah, so as, as Thomas uh, says. Uh, I mean, uh, really, with the the appendix to um, to the Levi Strauss uh, uh, elementary structures of kinship book uh, started this uh, tradition of, of group theory with this uh, appendix of um, Andre uh, Bayer, and um, this was kind of then really taken up by Courage uh, uh, in uh, in this paper that. Uh, Thomas mentions. And um, so uh, he kind of starts to clear up the definitions and, uh, and, 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 and clarify kind of what was going on with the, the appendix to, the, to that book. Um, and so he, he, he says uh, here that we can define an elementary kinship system um, quite simply as a, a finite set uh, equipped with two uh, permutations, right? So um, two uh, bijective uh, functions on this set. Okay. Mu, mu and uh, omega and mu here are like, uh, they represent what? R and or? Right, right. So um, there's a, a couple of ways of looking at it, but um, I, I, yeah, so this is the, exactly the next slide. Um, so, um, and okay, there's some, some way of talking about a, a morphism of kinship systems that we won't really go into. Um, but, okay, so quite simply, okay, we have a set, and so we're thinking of that set as um, the set of uh, here called marriage classes, but really this is just kind of synonym for those uh, sections. Um, so it's a, a set of sections or, or subsections, um, and um, uh, we think of this omega as this uh, conjugal function, so this is uh, linking men in one class to the, the class that they have to marry into. Uh, and this mu is this matrilineal function. Um, so yes, uh, women in, in the, the section X have children in uh, mu X. Um, and um, again, uh, we could define this composite, uh, which is then just the 
the patrilineal function. Um, and so um, whether we use a conjugal function and uh, the matrilineal function or a matrilineal function and patrilineal function, these things are kind of uh, giving us the same uh, uh, information. The matrilineal was... Uh... So women in uh, a given class have children. It's in UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, right. So indeed, so if we if we have this this composite, then this is effectively saying that that men and X have have children in this uh, in this in this composite. So so this is the basic setup of this um, courage paper, and there's a lot more in it um, that um, uh, I'm. Going to go more towards uh, the the Lovia, um paper where he sort of takes up some of these ideas in a more general context. Um, uh, so another way to think about uh, this these elementary kinship systems is that if we pick out uh, two uh, um, elements of the symmetric group on S, then okay, we're this is just uh, one of these systems, right? We have we have S and we have two um, automorphisms of, of, of S. Um, then this is the, the same thing as um, uh, a group homomorphism from the free group on two generators um, to um, uh, the, the symmetric group of, of S. Which group is it? This is... Um, it's called uh, kinship uh, systems. Oh, what's the exact title of the law here? Um, it's got kinship in the in the title. Yes, kinship in mathematical categories. Thank you. Um, yeah. So, so really, okay. These elementary kinship systems of Croatia are these. Uh, actions of this free group on two generators okay so actions of this group on the set s um and so seemingly independently of this and, and much later in, in uh 99 so there's this um paper of the and um so he has this slightly more uh general model where he's saying okay we we'll replace well, he doesn't say this, but what happens is that this free group um, becomes the uh, instead the free monoid on, on two generators. Um, and um, uh, in, in his um, setup, we're to think of these uh, generators as uh, eventually going to give rise to a matrilineal and patrilineal uh, function. Just to understand the line in here. That's Lovier's line for a John Font construct, right? That's right, yeah. So there is an adjunction in where the 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 upper arrow is left adjunct to the one uh, below, right? Yeah. So the, well, this is um this is so the the bottom is sort of the left adjoint, the free um yeah, functor, the, and uh, and then the forgetful. So this is uh, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, so this is the, the, the free forgetful adjunction, but so, um, this is just kind of bridging, make, bridging the gap between the, the courage and the, the love point of view. Um, they're, they're really the same thing. Okay. We have uh, some action, uh, in one case of a group and then, uh, love just says, okay, we just have a monoid and it's uh, slightly more general. Well, here F is a group on two generators, like given by each operator. Mm -hmm. So it's a two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and um, I mean, so Courage uh, insists on this uh, finite set. Um, and um, so if you, you look at uh, this, this category of kinship systems in the uh, sense of Courage, then um, this is. Um, an elementary topos. Uh, once we move to monoids, then um, it's no longer the case that we just have finite sets. Um, that this is a, a topos, so we have to look at uh, arbitrary sets. Um, uh, but uh, 
you know, this has advantages and disadvantages. So, um, uh, I think, yeah, maybe we'll, there, we'll come back to the criticisms of this model, maybe. Um, so, so yeah, so, uh, of course, what Levere emphasizes is um, uh, to look at the totality of these uh, kinship systems considered as actions of the free monoid. Um, and so this is, okay, this, this totality, this, uh, this uh, uh, functors from this free monoid uh, from two generators to set is a, is a top boss um, of, of, of this nice kind. Um, and so again, uh, the point is going to be that um, uh, these generators, the, the image of these generators uh, in set gives rise to two functions. And these are the, the patrilineal and matrilineal functions. Okay. So um, when we have some functor to set, um, then okay, so we, we have to say um, new sent to like this. Yeah. Um, so I I think I start saying using the Lobia term to just say M and F. Um, so we have to say where this object is sent to. So um, we get some set of uh, Lobia. Now we'll push the point of view that this is a set of persons. But again, we'll see that it's sometimes. Uh, we can also see it as a set of marriage classes again. Uh, and then we have two, yeah, two. Um, yeah, and, I'm not sure everyone can follow this. Just to say, uh, this means that the objects in this that the, in the left are the, the arrows between two objects. So like in the two points, let's say M in here is an object that is considered to be object in the, in the category. And the arrows in the category are, uh, Arrows between like uh, from M and uh, ending to another uh, such uh, object, which it itself can re represent uh, as such, right? Um, or did I get it wrong? I'm, I didn't sound quite right to me. So we have the one, we have one, just one object. Okay. So we're thinking of the monoid as a one object category. And then it has some endomorphisms, which That's are the generators. Uh, yeah. 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 So, so maybe sorry, this is what you said, but uh, just to uh, try and clarify. So we have one object. So we have to say, okay, we have the, the the one object here. We have a set, and then we have two. Um, well, I've just drawn the the, the generators here, but of course we we have all the composites as yeah. well, and those give rise to endo functions on that set. Um, Actually, I, I guess it's just that uh, it looked to me that uh, one of the arrows was the second point, which is oh. weird. It's <laughs> the only one pointed then. Yes, yeah, so it's the classical way of seeing any group as a point. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. So okay. Oh, so we again, this is just uh, similar to to Courage, We have a set. Um. Now instead of marriage classes, we can think of persons, but. Again, we can also think of, of marriage classes um, as well, um, and we'll see how those combine. And then we have um, uh, two functions, endo functions in that set. Well, not just two, but like we have for all the composites, we have an endo function. So this is functorial. But uh, these two endo functions kind of generate a whole monoid of, of endo functions in the set. Uh, but uh, so okay, so this includes some quite strange things. So we can have the, the empty society, right? Um, <clears throat> and um, we can have a, a, a society where we have one individual who are their own mother and father. Uh, and indeed, we're we're considering the possibility of infinite sets as well. Um, uh, so that seems quite strange, but we also have things in the real world that seem quite strange to us. Um, so just to, to briefly talk about this, um, uh, another example of um, 
society, this time in, in, in China. So um, in this uh, chart here, um, kind of what is notably absent is a, any kind of equals signs, which are usually uh, denoting marriage. Um, and uh, that uh, the descent happens through uh, exclusively this um, uh, the mother's side. Um, so um, in, in some sense, the the um, this the, the the male side is not considered to have any part in this uh, descent uh, in this in this lineage. Um, so it, it gives rise to the the title of of this book um, uh, as a society without fathers um, uh, and husbands. So. Um, we can sort of account for something like this very roughly in this setup um, by saying that uh, the image of the um, uh, the, the father um, generator. Um, uh, so I, I I wrote M. I should have written F. Um, uh, just acts as the the identity. Um, okay, so that's. That's just a, a little aside. Um, so Koresh, uh, one of the things that he uses is um, Cartesian pro products of, of elementary kinship systems. Um, so uh, Thomas mentioned uh, also this uh, carrier uh, section uh, system, which is uh, another one of these Australian systems. It's quite well studied. Um, and in this case, there are just four sections um, and this is arising as a, a product. Um, so if I now yeah, so if I draw now a picture of the action, so we have one action where M is acting the identity and F is acting the swap. Then we also have um, the one where these are reversed. We take the, the Cartesian product of these. Uh, then we we end up with this carrier system. Um, and so, okay, there's a lot of structure in this category. And uh, so it's useful to sort of analyze um, how these systems arise as, say, as, as products. Um, we might ask about if we can give it any reasonable meaning to exponentials you know, in terms of uh, kinship as well. Um, yeah, um, we have thought of these products of the system and society and this might have a sort of symmetry, I mean, in the case that are very Honestly, not sure how those are defined. But another thing, uh, I have also thought that, uh, that one could play the Maria setup uh, in replacing stack with uh, relations and, uh, uh, and look at relational species of also this monoid. Uh, and they are, for example, if one would lose uh, this uh, this function. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, in, uh, a concept which is used. Uh, I, I shied away uh, for writing it up uh, because, uh, well, the uh, Tobos is much uh, more easy to, to handle. Okay. 
Um, right. So, uh, I, see, I might, I might skip over some of this, but uh, well, we can just, uh, we can mention, so unfortunately, there's a few of that cut off here, but yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, so uh, we have a, a, a terminal society in this, in this category, right? So, um, uh, but uh, the, the points of the society, so the morphisms from this, um, uh, are not the individuals in X, but they're these. Uh, if, if we're asking for a, a morphism of pre-sheaves, then we're asking kind of a morphism of, of act, that's kind of preserving the action. Um, and so um, we end up with points being uh, these super individuals of their own mother and father. So in general, in any kind of reasonable uh, X, then we won't have any such uh, uh, points. Um, and um, we we have one uh, representable uh, pointer, which is just this, uh, this self-action um, of, of this free monoid. And uh, it's the morphisms from, from this then that um, give us uh, the, the or in bijection with the, the elements of uh, society X, so the, the set X. Um, it's just the, the maps of Greek sheaves from this um, representable um, functor to, to X. Um, and so if you want to express something like uh, Y is the ancestor of X, this is just the, the statement that we have some um, endo map of I, the uh, composes with X uh, to give to give this um, map Y. Um, because the, these, uh, again, uh, applying your native and uh, these endo maps of I are just the, uh, the elements of this free monoid F2. Um, and so Lovia says, okay, well, this is a, a slightly, we can refine this statement about X is the ancestor of Y. If we look at the category of elements of a free sheaf there. Right. Yes, so uh, if we have a, a free sheaf, you know, we're calling it a society, um, then we can think of the category of elements as um, kind of like a genealogical chart. So I mean, really what I'm drawing here is the category of elements, um, but if, if you recall, um, then uh, essentially in, in the category of elements, uh, the, our objects are now going to be um, members of the society, uh, right? So if we have X here, then X at this single object is a set of people, and so we have so the Q set, maybe a, a lot of other things. And then our morphisms are going to be uh, witnesses of uh, relationships between, um, so this you might have that um, uh, P's mother is, is Q. So we have a morphism then between them. relations uh, and so in some sense this category of elements uh, of a pre sheaf is kind of like the, the the something like the the usual kind of genealogical charts right um, uh, although with with every relation being expressed as uh, some combination of mother and father um, relations um, and so there was this uh, enigmatic uh, line in this, uh, as, as there are so many in Lovia, um, that he suggests that um, a construction of Broken Geek, um, which then he refers to this pursuing stacks paper, and it kind of wasn't exactly clear um, <laughs> what, what, what's, uh, what he was referring to, even though there is the famous. Growth and deconstruction, um, uh, but uh, 
So you get stuck, meaning that you take uh, uh, stack in what in the point. Uh, sorry. A stack like in. Oh, I mean, we we don't. There, there's no stacks involved there. Um, uh, it's just uh, uh, we just work with pre sheets. Uh -huh. Yeah, but even like pre sheets of, of the, the the end category is gonna be such a group for it. I mean, what are we going to compute by the? I'll, I'll have to see more. More in detail, but uh -huh. uh, I, I'm having a little bit of difficulty for I don't know about the rest. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe we maybe we can talk good. about it yeah. as well uh, at the end. I, I realize I'm going quite fast, but uh, I'm also aware of the the, the time a bit. So, yeah. um, uh, so. To, to say briefly about this, okay, so uh, once we've constructed this, we can consider kind of more general kind of, uh, well, we consider general kind of labelings of this category by another category. So uh, he suggests uh, to take some ordered sets, which presumably is supposed to be kind of like a chronology of dates. Um, and um, so, then each uh, member of the society would be uh, assigned to some date in a way that's functorial with respect to these. So uh, that uh, ancestors would have been kind of born earlier, essentially. Um, and um, well, because of this junction from this um, paper of Grothendieck, then uh, we can see these these functors uh, again as as maps of, of prefutes into this nerve um, of of the, the, this D. And this is uh, something that so uh, we discovered quite recently, and we hope we'll have some some application. This but, is the yes. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but uh, it's to be worked out uh, how to apply this. But the, the point is that these kind of more general labelings of this category of elements could be expressed internally to this topos because they're equivalently these morphisms into the nerve. <clears throat> yeah. You need to restrain the, uh, from the category uh, from cat into fold. Um, I, I mean, in general, this category of elements will not be a group weight because um, this, uh, this map like this, this mother map isn't, well, it, it, in, this, in this monoid setup, it's not uh, invertible. We don't have the inverse of this model. Yeah, but well, it's um <laughs> Let's okay. Say you for the okay okay um and we can also just say very briefly about the, the sub object classifier so um if a society were just considered as a set then our sub objects are going to be subsets right but here we have more structure so um the um the 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 elements of this um the sub object classifier now is not just uh, two points um but uh, it's actually infinite um and it's these ideals of, of the monoid so subsets of this free monoid closed under the concatenation with m and f um and so um Essentially, what this means is that um, uh, we don't just say that for a given individual if they belong or not to a, to a sub part of the society, but we give some degree of belonging. Um, so uh, it's not just that if we take a portion of society that someone's in it or not, but they could be linked by 
ancestors uh, ancestor relations to it um and so um this is the kind of for the, the structure of the subobject classifier um and of course the subobject classifier itself is uh, an object in this topos so we can see it as a kind of strange um society in itself uh, with this uh, kind of relation of division um, another thing that's uh, a quite powerful idea uh, here is um, uh, to consider slices uh, over this uh, uh, certain elements in this this topos. So if we have arbitrary functions on on our set, um, then uh, we might want to constrain this, uh, for example, to uh, uh, ensure that uh, um, uh, so we might want to introduce the idea of uh, a gender um, and then we would want to kind of ensure that the, the, the mother of a given individual is, uh, is uh, the female gender and uh, th that works in the expected way are the the endo arrows something useful I mean, how can you, like, if, if circle is, uh, is a ring? Yes. Is mother of a ring, but father of a triangle? Um, yeah, so. No, 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 sorry, okay. It, it, it's not that. It's the, the arrows uh, that are uh, yeah. pointing towards the same object. That, is it like the the dotted arrow shouldn't be on the left, rather than the right? Um, I don't think so. I think uh, this is correct. Uh, it, it says that uh, the, the the father of uh, of a woman is, is a man, and the father of a man is a man. And the woman, uh, the, the mother of a woman is a uh, is a woman. And uh, the uh, mother of a man is a uh, woman. Okay, so oh, it's, it's one point I think, uh, that is the uh, mother of the uh, right. Who is that? It's 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 the 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 post that is the the mother of or the father of and the the ancestor the. Yeah, not the starting. Uh, so it's like, uh, yeah, like this, and this is uh, why is mother of X? No, uh, because, um, uh, for example, okay, we have, uh, I, I, I could be confused, but um, let's see. So, okay, so this is about it. So we're saying that, uh, the abstract uh, uh, female. Um, uh, okay, so this all of yeah, it's it's maybe a bit confusing, but the the father of this abstract uh, female is is, is male. Um, so so maybe the way I've written it is 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 a bit confusing. Um, uh, so so here the triangle is father of circle. Yeah yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not, so, uh, okay. yeah, okay. Um, so, so this is an object of this this topos. It's, uh, it's again, it's it, we have this action of um, uh, this this monoid. Uh, so if we slice over this, we look at now um, maps of free sheaves into this particular free sheaf, and we're saying that. Uh, we're kind of labeling the society. You know, each person is assigned to one of these genders, and then saying that it's a map of free sheaves is saying precisely that um, the the M and F maps in the society um, uh, conform to this logic of um, binary gender. Um, so the, the the father of, of of someone labeled by this male is is male, and so on. Um, and we can do the same with uh, elementary kinship systems um, seen as objects of this topos. So on the um, 
on the left here is is this uh, Rothbury um, eight sub subsections system with this uh, two uh, length four matricycles and these four length two patricycles. Um, and um, if we, we slice over this, then we obtain the societies conforming to this system. Um, and then on the right here, uh, we have another uh, um, uh, section system. This is a, a version of this Murundata uh, with these uh, intriguing uh, names. Um, and uh, again, we can, we can slice over this and we can also consider products. Uh, and so we can get uh, gendered section systems. Uh, and I'm gonna skip over this and that's more or less what I have to say on that. You should be aware we're yeah, kind of running out of time. My apologies, I'm confused to what my, you're talking about the, uh, about uh, general philosophy and so uh, Okay, uh, yeah, you, you see, uh, this is uh, taken from, from a classic uh, article from Mary Laughlin uh, on the kinship system of the, uh, of the war theory. Uh, and uh, she realized, uh, she is an Australian uh, linguist, uh, also a very great specialist of war theory. She realized that uh, the, uh, the skin system, the, uh, these uh, eight skins, uh, follow the, the rules of the Dahato uh, group of order eight. And, uh, okay, here, here one, one sees uh, also the, the uh, subgroup uh, structure, and uh, I will say more about this uh, uh, later on, uh, I think, because now I want to present, oh, we're already here, no, that's that. Okay, all right. <laughs> What I what I want to say is my batch preparation here. Uh, I want to to write down. Well, I have to write it down then. Uh, how this uh, this system uh, works, the wall theory, and uh, okay, yeah. Well, I, I must have it from the way Mary writes it. Mm. Okay, well, then, then I write it, uh, the version I write it, because, uh, of course, you can represent the dihedral groups in, in many ways. And uh, we're through at, uh, in half an hour, or what's the... Well, ideally, but if we need to take a little bit more time. Well, I don't I know, think we can have some questions. So. Half an hour is okay. Don't have that much to say. Yeah, it, I'm, 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 I've lost. I, I'm no longer in a university for 15 years, so I've lost the habits to be concise and so on. And okay, yeah. You mean the board? Uh, you can just put it up and write on the second one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sure, well, this is now a, a sort of uh, coming back from the very first diagram uh, we, we ha uh, have seen at the beginning of the talk. Uh, uh, it's in principle the, the Cayley di diagram. Here we have the, the marriage. Uh, it's, uh, I, I put the, uh, the, the mutual element of the group here. It uh, stands for, for the ego in, in a way. Then uh, I put uh, the mother in the, in the mother's group. Ego's mother is, is in, in this section. Ego's father is in that section. 
And uh, of course, when uh, when uh, uh, Igor's uh, father is is, uh, is here and the mother is here, they have to, they have to be married. So you put the sign in here, and uh, now we go on with the next mother stop here. The the grandmother of Igor is in that section, and uh, here we got in half. Ah, ah, yeah, I, I use the P for the father, so should be consistent. Uh, and well, we can keep the, the motorcycle first, and then the cycles back across the cycle uh, at that point. And so, uh, here we got a, the other module cycle, which cycles upwards. Um, and now, yeah. Marriage side, and then we have to assign here so we need fathers too. I usually uh, use the dotted signs for the uh, uh, father of uh, a relation, and uh, I read it uh, as uh, in this Lavoie sense that it's an uh, application uh, uh, of M. Igor's mother is in the here, and the uh, mother's mother is here, and the mother's mother is here, and so uh, okay. Uh, we see a very, very important uh, uh, relation is the is the, um, uh, the very important uh, mother-in-law. This is uh, uh, important. Where is let's say uh, Igor's mother-in-law uh, is the. The, the spouse of Igor is here, and uh, the mother of uh, of her is here, and uh, this is a, an extremely uh, difficult uh, uh, situation, uh, and they have to uh, sort of avoid contact. And uh, one sees that they, they are here. The basic structure of the society is that we have uh, two long cycles. Uh, okay, yes. Here and the other one going up, which is kind of stitched uh, by the uh, short uh, parental uh, functions. And uh, this is a very, very important relation uh, because the father and son they, they share uh, totems and, and uh, names. And they have a very uh, close uh, uh, relationship, and uh, it's important for the for the ritualistic uh, standing uh, of of the people. I have also uh, uh, to bring it a bit uh, in line with the uh, with the TI group in uh, in uh, the music theory. I have also a setup where I represent. Uh, uh, not with the with the signs for the relatives uh, like here, but uh, with the uh, elements that I draw uh, from set cross set four. And uh, then representation is here, and then uh, I I need uh, two positions for the tri triads in in music. You have this uh, three. Three numbers, uh, but uh, here the diagonal three group is smaller, uh, so I just uh, need two uh, 
the two numbers, and then uh, I go down uh, by just uh, adding one, uh, it's the transposition. And uh, the mother side of y y. This is the, the father is here the inversion operator. So this is, I have the mother function is just uh, uh, the transposition to T1 is defined as x plus 1. And uh, I apply it in, in every component of this topic. And uh, uh, the father function is the just uh, like uh, in, in the usual case, bring out a bit. Uh, and I think I should have. Uh, uh, you, you can go on now, iterate uh, the email operator. Let's finish this first. Uh, Proposing that uh, after we finish this email uh, uh, diagram, we go through this. Uh, maybe uh, I finish that. Uh, interesting idea to uh, uh, and I I have also uh, sort of written up the, the same uh, marriage system uh, for the for the TI group in music theory and uh, yeah I I I've read uh, when I've read uh, about the music theory I had the impression that a lot of the the kinship relations uh, that, that are created among the triads in music uh, are related uh, to uh, kinships relations. Yeah. For instance, uh, well, if you start with the C uh, by the triads, then the marriage, the uh, major C triad is married to to the flat uh, uh, G, let's see, the, the minor flat G. And uh, well, when, when I read about the music theory, I uh, often had the impression that a lot of these uh, relations that come out are, are known and named. And I don't know what this For example, I guess the Nebenverwandte is a special term of Riemann, and I think I thought I have seen it as a kinship relation. But I don't know. I'm, uh, I, I didn't have the time to really look it up again. The, the marriage here in the in the in the triad uh, is the eins. Uh, I one operator and uh, I two would be the the mother in bar. So I don't I don't know if you have any ideas what uh, this means in music these two operators. The, the mother-in-law normally she's a very complicated relationship. How it plays out in the, in the TI group. Okay, and uh, as I have learned, I sh should finish. Yeah, we, maybe I say briefly uh, a few things about the subgroup structure uh, from this. Really, it's an amazing paper by uh, 
function of bother in military what it means exactly uh, it's it's uh, uh, the the inversion i mean no, the the first one, aim. yeah okay yeah. yeah. yeah, this one what it means in military you have uh, explained what it means in marriage okay why no, not, I, but uh, no, no, I, I want to say this this operator uh, is is uh, certainly known in uh, it has a, a harmonic uh, meaning in the in the uh, in in the music theory. And and I I would be interested to see what uh, uh, because in the kinship system it corresponds to marriage. And uh, more interesting, I find the, the mother in law. Yeah, yeah, the, the mother and father before that. Yeah. Just this this X plus one, it's just like kind of weird. What the question is no, about, it's I guess it's uh, why it's the mother in law and before that just to speak about the mother and father thing because you have the same thing. But, uh, <laughs> why are you speaking in music of mother and law before you don't speak before of mother and father? Yeah, so the question is just what what's the meaning of the the M and the F in music? Uh, no, no, it's it's uh, yeah. uh, here the, the mother function yeah. doing uh, multiplying uh, a section with the mother yeah. uh, is is uh, translated as this transposition for this I've written it in this set form, and uh, in this form you can uh, directly. Uh, uh, compare it with the with the triadic system in music. We say just that the mother of C is. Uh, yeah. Do you say that the mother of C is a singled, like one, four, yeah, eight? Yes, uh, do you yeah. say that? Yeah. That's, that's okay. Uh, equivalently, I, I have written up this this thing. You know how it looks. There you, you can see and and. Uh, Equivalently, uh, and this interpret uh, between uh, uh, G flat minor and uh, C uh, uh, major uh, is uh, is the sparse relation. It's the marriage relation. And, uh, I would be interested. I, I mean, I should have uh, really worked it out myself and looked in the literature now uh, to, to see uh, if this makes sense to because I mean, in in music theory, one uses this. Uh, uh, these terms of Nebenverband, uh, the, the, the close kin. Uh, I, I think that, uh, I, I don't remember, I think I, I read it in, in my Julian Luke's uh, paper somewhere, and I think the Nebenverband might be actually the, 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 the people you marry. But if you want, if you want, to have the same things that you, if you want to have one, two, three, you have not to do that. You have to do C third because you will have two, six, nine. After you have four, eight, one, and after you come back and the one. So, so. This one, you see, I don't, I don't understand. The, if you want, if you want to to find the same kind of structure in the music theory, you must interpret this function of mother not exactly x plus one, but x plus two, because just here you have you have six to the, the different six uh, six uh, three tones. Yeah. Three tones, you mean? But, but here is, is now, I, I, I know I have shown that, because I have it. Ah, yeah, but here you have, not, uh, you have not the same cycle. Yeah, exactly. And the, this is taken ah, yeah. from, from the... Yeah, it's not the one, 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 okay. Yeah, of course, the, the, yeah. this is, the, is one. I mean, it's exactly, there's more, more structure. Uh, really? I, I, I haven't been able to find a... Uh, it is uh, LPR group equivalent for the for the small uh, things because I didn't see the, the it operator. It would be better to take perhaps this one to have just the same thing, uh, three steps, you see. 
Hey. No, no, Father. Well, my, my, my idea was uh, really to bring it. Uh, but you should do that. Very. You have to do it. And so you were right. You see, in three steps. No, if I. I'm told I'm that. Uh, uh, great problems. But I, I see your point. But. Uh, uh, I mean, the idea, uh, my idea, well, I mean, uh, if the uh, Australians uh, could have gone on, they might create bigger they had with groups, for example. And uh, there you would uh, just uh, do this, this small step, uh, another like this, it's the most concern. And uh, so I, I thought uh, to, uh, I, I, to bring out uh, the, how this, I mean, it's it's automatically to write it even in this form. It brings out relations which can be interpreted uh, with the with the uh, intuitions and the semantics I have for the kinship. And this is a sort of what I was interested. In, how this is related. I mean, in, in the end, uh, dihedral symmetries uh, are uh, everywhere, and it's uh, probably no deal that they show up in the, in the uh, in major and minor triads in, uh, in, in the kinship, finally. Okay, the, the last uh, maybe interesting system uh, is the, is the subgroup structure. Uh, okay. What can I say about the structure? This is taken from this uh, marvelous Mary Lafran uh, paper where she has worked out the subgroup structure and the amazing uh, thing about the subgroups. Uh, uh, okay, these are the model groups. Uh, uh, the eight. Well, I, I won't uh, write it out. Uh, here you have the DA, then you have four uh, groups of subgroups of order four, and there you get uh, uh, one cyclic group of order four, and you get two Klein groups. And the cyclic group here uh, is the group uh, generated uh, by, by the mother. Multiplication is, is, is the first uh, mother cycle in, in my previous diagram. Uh, uh, and it uh, corresponds uh, to the two. If one looks at the cosets uh, uh, of this uh, subgroup, it uh, corresponds to the two uh, uh, matter cycles, the matter moieties. It splits up. And uh, for example, the the basic contrast or opposition in the music theory, as I have written the system here, that pets uh, the, the major triads against the minor. Uh, this would correspond uh, to the contrast between the matricycles. The, the, the major uh, triads uh, would correspond to the first matricycle uh, through, the, uh, through the ego. And uh, the minor triads would uh, correspond to the second. And uh, well, I, I have no big uh, idea with what this would mean. Just uh, if, if you want to bring out uh, the first the part of your male and see second like the male. No, 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 no. It's it's two male groups uh, against uh, against each other. This would would be the the duality of of uh, Riemann and it's it's. It, it it doesn't strike me as very meaningful. Rather, I I would have uh, also thought it it would be rather a, a contrast between male and uh, and female, uh, because even even uh, Moritz Altman he he uh, identifies uh, he has this uh, he uses this gender contrast uh, between male things. For example, even in the in the tri triads, he, he says that the the, the crown uh, is male. And then the, the fifth is, is female, is splitting, and uh, the third uh, is, is the sun. It's a, it's a male principle of unification. Because it's the classic, you see, in the 19th century, to say that uh, major tones are male and the minor tones yeah. are female. Yeah. This is, because this in the minor, you have some uh, mobility of tones, mm -hmm. and in major, you have stability. Mm -hmm. and so 
ce classique euh, interpretation, une conceptualité interpretation, pour dualité du green mm -hmm. nature et le monde. Mm -hmm. Even in the Italian uh, name, it's dura, dura e mola. It has this gender uh, subtitle. Yes, uh, okay. But uh, coming back to the to the uh, subsector and okay, yeah, the, the other group this year are the uh, is the, the two pattern moieties. This the uh, subgroup generated here. It, it stands for uh, uh, for the two pattern moieties in the in the. Uh, society and uh, this here is a uh, alternating generations uh, 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 the, the, the groups uh, the societies also have parted in in uh, uh, there's a difference uh, uh, the the egos generation goes together with uh, with the grandfather and the grandsons and uh, it, it's in contrast with uh, being one generation uh, higher it's, uh, and this uh, partitions the society also structurally and uh, the thing okay i might write down the generator it's not uh, interesting maybe it's fun. and uh, the thing is that all the co-sets uh, 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 come uh, are named they have they have uh, special names in in for the pattern moieties. They have even an uh, a social centric uh, terms, whereas uh, the the matter moieties they are called uh, the, the the group with shame, uh, which which means uh, the 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 group of of my husbands. The other where I must feel sh shame. And uh, the other, I don't know what, what but uh, the, the uh, matter cycle one self is in this is a sort of shameless, uh, cares this name, but of course this is uh, social centric, uh, uh, not social centric, it's egocentric. That is, uh, uh, they have two, two uh, matter moieties, eins and uh, Somebody in this group calls the other the group of shame, and uh, if one is in this group, the group of shame is, is the other. But uh, the 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 men they, they have absolute terms uh, which are valid for everybody. And uh, then there are a lot of cyclic terms uh, set to uh, equivalent uh, uh, groups. Uh, and all they come with uh, with uh, uh, co-sets, and these are all practically all named. It's it's quite amazing. It's a, a lot of the the names and the groups uh, that they use for ritual and uh, and so uh, are directly uh, related to the uh, structure of this dihedral group and the substructure. And uh, the the most amazing thing maybe is that. Uh, Peter Blusset, he has uh, uh, proposed uh, this one here. Yeah. So, and this uh, is, is a, uh, a graph uh, which originally stands for maggot for Aboriginal kinship. And uh, I think the relation here is these are matri lines uh, that pass uh, here through the groups. Uh, this uh, this year uh, the double relation is uh, is uh, uh, maggot calls it uh, ritual guidance and uh, sister exchange because the uh, the matter lines uh, cross and they they pass here so they exchange their their sister it's two groups and uh, uh, I'm sorry I I forget what what makes this this upper uh, uh, strain as part of my batch preparation and, uh, uh, but uh, uh, Lutzisch, uh, he, he had uh, the intuition that this diagram for maggot uh, is actually a, 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 a sort of a symmetry 
uh, depicts a, a, a repeating pattern uh, in the plan and uh, that it corresponds to an infinite uh, uh, one of the uh, crystal crystallographic uh, subgroups. Of course, uh, as a music theorist, uh, I guess you, you are inclined to think of a tool net. And, uh, uh, and uh, the thing, uh, uh, Lucid, he, he argues uh, uh, for identifying the symmetry group of this, of this infinite graph uh, uh, with uh, a, a group that is called uh, CM. It's uh, actually a rather, rather simple presentation with two, uh, two generators. Uh, and uh, minus four and uh, he has a four cycle and uh, the uh, the uh, epsilon uh, stands for a uh, so-called Clyde reflection. And the group that is defined here is, uh, has in a, in a modern uh, uh, view on this uh, sort of uh, 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 geometric symmetry groups. It has the, oh my, Matt tells me if it's the, the star <laughs> first the oscillate or the crossing. Uh, and this this is uh, a notation for the for uh, for the orbifold, uh, which uh, uh, which uh, is created uh, if one identifies all the uh, the uh, uh, points in the plane uh, when they are mapped uh, into each other. And this, of course, also uh, very familiar uh, for from music theory. This this optic. Uh, all default uh, spaces. Uh, in, in kinship, one one looks a bit uh, jealous on the optic spaces because uh, here so is always uh, one could argue uh, argue that uh, this is sort of theoretical abstraction and uh, why uh, I mean in some sense the social relations uh, are real. Uh, why uh, assuming that they are in some sense embedded into a plane. Uh, and and have this really uh, geometric meaning. Yeah, whereas uh, this uh, continuity in the optic spaces uh, comes uh, rather well motivated uh, with the the uh, re reals as as a model for the frequency. And uh, there one looks a bit like uh, But uh, I think it's well if one buys uh, it, uh, then uh, one can uh, can identify. Uh, uh, this this uh, space uh, with the orbifold, one one can say a, a kinship system which is organized like this, is uh, a, a corresponds to a, a topological uh, object, and in this case uh, the topological object is the is the uh, tape, because uh, this year the the, you know, the the it's the cross. Uh, stands for a cross cap, and the star uh, uh, stands for for punching a hole, and so we got. Oh my, oh my, I probably can't show him so well. The, the mirror spans are just. I mean, everybody knows it here. Yeah. It also shows up in the. Oh, we we have it. Yeah. So, Explanation uh, stolen from this uh, very nice uh, Conway book on the symmetry. So, and, uh, okay, and this, uh, this is uh, very interesting because it goes a bit in, in the, the kind of uh, things that uh, Baba Klosevsky uh, uh, tried to, to pin down on uh, topology because it's a sort of a, an object where you don't know where. where up and down, uh, and uh, which is sort of uh, non orientable. I mean, this is something when one sees uh, also that this, this idea of the of the surface, uh, the track you do on the ground comes back. Yeah, 
and uh, uh, it's interesting uh, that this shows up. And uh, in in music, in the optic theory, uh, I think it's the two two boys. Uh, I learned it from Julian Hogue. It's the two boys uh, leaving a space where you are quotient uh, uh, the the real squared through the symmetry of uh, octave equivalence. And I think this is commutation. You sort of have uh, the symmetry group of, uh, acting on these two tuples. And this is the uh, uh, Müller's band. Apparently, uh, Hook uh, says with some singularity. Here, this is, this is uh, really the, the manifold. Uh, it has no singularity. But they are, I mean, even in Garena Masora's book, uh, he has uh, occurrences of Müller's states in, in, in music. And uh, I think it's kind of uh, uh, well, it, it illustrates uh, uh, kind of this general philosophy of the. But uh, things uh, get even better because this uh, group uh, X star uh, has in itself uh, three uh, three uh, uh, subgroups of. Uh, which uh, correspond to two colorings of this. Uh, Maybe I think it's uh, some people who have questions. Uh, okay, just just uh, three three. Okay, yes, okay. <laughs> then then I'll put. Okay, it's it's just uh, this uh, group here has uh, three subgroups, which also correspond to topological objects. And here, uh, this is uh, co this corresponds again to the to the uh, matrimonies, and it's the Taurus here. So the 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 women, in a sense, are represented by a Taurus. Then here, the the uh, generation uh, alternating generation moieties, they are represented by the by the analog, which uh, well. Now I don't have the time to make the point, but it, it represents very well this uh, idea of, of one generation. All the rest is, is sort of folded up uh, to the symmetry that uh, the, the kinship system uh, uh, creates. And uh, the, the most trick is, of course, because the men are sort of the most uh, uh, active uh, religious people, they have the climb bottle, the climb bottle only has it. No, no, no. That's the climb bottle, we don't have it. Uh, I, I won't try to to uh, uh, to draw the climb bottle to the right hand of war, but it's certainly the most uh, complicated object. And uh, I think it captures very well this idea that uh, in some sense, the, the, the males are uh, sort of uh, the ritual, uh, Masters. I mean, Barbara Grosevsky wouldn't agree because one of the points of her dissertation was that the that the women have also a very rich uh, religious life and access to to sacredness. But I, I think here the the topology is such as I mean, well, there's nothing wrong with the choice. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Uh, he he uh, wrote some papers on uh, on Hindu grammar. He described this with uh, this uh, going in the direction of Lounsbury, This sort of syntactic description of the of the kitchen terminology. He, he has a, a couple of papers. Uh, Find yeah, I think mm -hmm. some of them are written with his son. Uh, yeah, ba ba Bagatara. Yeah. Maybe I'm an apologist for him. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so. It's certainly on my, my computer yeah, somewhere. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, this is. Yeah. 
rewrite system and go west to the Pacific, right? This is one of them. So, yes, indeed, this was kind of uh, trying to find a formal grammar for the terms. So, as an overall, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to make sense of the whole. Uh, of your whole talk. Um, um, well, you already started answering uh, that your primary focus was to somehow bring uh, a higher idea of uh, structuralism by means of, uh, of uh, somehow by categorifying something that was already, uh, that had a mat somehow mathematical model to include in naive groups. Uh, uh, for kinship in this uh, specific society to somehow enrich it with uh, with uh, all the uh, internal logic of the, that brings uh, to you uh, 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 theory to somehow uh, give a uh, account on uh, high relationships somehow that you already have and not just to stick with uh, this uh, somehow already found object also to account uh, structurally on the relationships uh, that are uh, already seen here and that you also find somehow in uh, transformation of number theory that's more or less how I find it right but then my question is, uh, um, did you, I mean, what was the, what was the, the direction of, of the research? Like, uh, you already had a, like a, a well-identified uh, structure of, uh, of, a, of a specific tool of this uh, internal logic, and, and then you went to find what concrete examples of, uh, of models I can, uh, I can, uh, uh, get from this uh, a very generic uh, structure, or the other way around, like uh, you happen to find uh, uh, this uh, uh, structure through the process of uh, making up like uh, successive abstractions, uh, uh, starting from this uh, all the uh, uh, studies of population. I mean, I guess the first thing to say is that. Um, very little of what we present in terms of <clears throat> the mathematics is original to us. This is more of a kind of overview, right? So I can't necessarily speak for the inventors of, um, of these ideas. Uh, I mean, as, as far as Lavia's um, system, I mean, this, this topos is, is a very rich uh, category, I mean, it points out that actually some theorems that uh, say would embed any category into it, so it's kind of a very rich uh, universe. So I think, um, uh, you know, in that case, it's much more that uh, uh, you didn't arrive at this through abstracting from uh, um, from some kind of uh, field data. Um, that um, uh, he was probably uh, aware of these earlier studies with group theory and so on, and just saw that there was uh, more to say about that. <laughs> um, uh, but certainly, lots of this stuff uh, has come from trying to make sense of um, uh, uh, working in the field and. I mean, you, you, you know, you, you, you have a, a, a lot of data that's uh, gathered from conversations and so on. It's not like how to, how to make sense of it. Uh, so, 
So I, I think both things are. Well, I, I asked you this question. Yeah, I asked this question because I, I don't know what's your feel. I mean, I would like to have your insight on it and on low gear, very particularly in here. I have the impression that there are two low gears. One that works uh, like a, from a specific situation up, and uh, another law here, that's the first law here, like uh, that uh, took uh, growth in the tokens in a way. And uh, as uh, it's uh, as a sit mathematical situation itself, and then made uh, elementary tokens out of it. And then there is another uh, uh, law here that uh, having found something very uh, like uh, abstract. Try to find uh, like an application somehow, like uh, concrete instances already there uh, out there in nature. The application. Exactly. So, like uh, two numbers that go like in opposite direction somehow between formalization and interpretation. And uh, like this one in here seems to be like the second one, like uh, the one that is interpreting. Uh, right. Um, one, one must say that, uh, in principle, uh, this uh, work uh, uh, goes back to to a course, uh, uh, joint work with uh, Chanuel, where they uh, probably uh, only uh, taught uh, 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 elementary category theory. It's in the conceptual uh, mathematics books. And I think they just uh, uh, came up uh, with this idea uh, uh, they had a simple topos they saw they could interpret it and my my uh, uh, own uh, sort of relation to this material is, is also a bit uh, ludic in the sense that i i don't have to buy that i think it's uh, there are interesting things there are uh, ideas who uh, deserve to be uh, brought in in a, in a Good form uh, to be digestible, uh, to, uh, useful to other fields, to to other people, be it only for teaching mathematics, but uh, brought uh, in a form uh, uh, that uh, anthropologists can work with this uh, stuff. And uh, and this is a bit uh, my thing. And I guess with uh, Lavia and Jean Noel, they also had this pedagogy. Uh, pedagogy. Idea and that it, it just helps uh, their students to to learn uh, categor categorical notions and one must uh, I I think this this paper is uh, very uh, hidden in the, in a in a book and it's very difficult to read I I uh, this uh, uh, the construction this Gordon the uh, construction there I I have been uh, thinking about it for for eight to ten years. What what the hell it could he have meant? It's absolutely impossible uh, to find the construction in the six hundred pages of Pursuing Stacks, and it's a typical uh, and uh, and uh, in, in, I think uh, part of of our uh, enterprise is to to make uh, so, well today we probably have failed miserably again. But uh, we try to to uh, sort of make such things digestible to make uh, uh, good read ups and for example this uh, Laver uh, Brauchi practically has no good example in his paper and uh, with bringing this together with uh, the other uh, uh, with the the real uh, uh, mathematical anthropology uh, uh, done with groups and and so and to sort of enrich this uh, theory and but uh, this labor paper is full uh, full of amazing ideas yeah we were talking about if it can keep asking some questions if, even taken from the point of view of pedagogy uh, uh, for i feel that even there there is already like a, a very important shift between conceptual mathematics, as you, uh, that you point out, which is indeed uh, more like uh, teaching mathematics through uh, ludic uh, games, uh, somehow, which somehow poses a problem to me because I don't like to see mathematics too much as a, as a game. 
And uh, for example, the lawyer of uh, the Perugian notes, I don't know if you, if you know, in where he's, um, he's bringing uh, philosophy, he's bringing uh, uh, dialectics inside, uh, inside uh, exactly on the other, uh, like a, uh, not like a, trying to make sense of, uh, of mathematics uh, by trying to find fundamentally intellectual uh, uh, problematics underlying uh, what is happening and what is he's just formulating uh, almost provisionally it feels uh, instead of like kind of said okay here is a, a huge and complicated and super rich totals. Uh, let's see what I can concretely put inside. Even somehow in there, his way of teaching between the, the, the 70s, the beginning of the 70s and after the uh, 80s, uh, kind of shifts uh, completely, right? Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a very interesting question. I my reaction is to say that I, mean, I, I don't see such a shift, right? So, I mean, obviously the, the, the tone of the two works is, is quite different you know, as with different audiences, but um, you know, whether he's addressing researchers or students, but um, I don't see that uh, beyond that uh, kind of difference in, in, in tone that there's something particularly fundamental. Uh, uh, different. I think there are similar themes, kind of constants. I don't know if, if you see a difference. <clears throat> uh, do you know the, in the Levish code the canonical uh, formula of Nietzsche? Mm -hmm. You know that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> is well, there a connection it. with all your working? Uh, uh, this kind of formula is it okay for explain something or not? Uh, what is the <laughs> I'm like the big expert on it. I, uh, my presentation uh, was so bad because I thought uh, in this more and butter uh, system that uh, uh, Matt mentioned briefly. Uh, 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 this would have a uh, quite a young group uh, uh, as a uh, kinship system. And uh, uh, there is this uh, interpretation by Jack Morava of uh, the Levishos uh, formula. And I thought I could uh, uh, sort of uh, use this uh, kinship system to, uh, to illustrate uh, uh, the. But uh, finally, it, it didn't work out. And uh, so I just dropped it, but it was intended uh, to end uh, the talk. And my, my uh, 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 I'm sort of half uh, obsessed with this formula because uh, I try to figure uh, to make sense of it uh, for a long, long time. And uh, it, I see it, it costs me a lot of time. And, uh, uh, but I, I can't, it's just like an addiction in my case. But uh, I have an ambivalent uh, uh, relation to it. Part uh, you yeah. see another way of uh, formalizing all these structures, not at all a uh, kind of algebra or so forth. It's a way, uh, another dialectic way. Uh, mm. You see, it's very different for me. Mm. And so perhaps it will be interesting to catch something. Uh, about that, I mean, I don't know if a Chris Manille at some, at some point was directing a tenure. No, but he was, uh, I mean, you know that he's very good friends with uh, David Savoy, and they, they were trying to figure this out uh, 10 years ago, maybe even. Uh, no, he don't, he don't have a, he don't have a, he don't have a, he don't have a, Non, mais ils avaient, ils avaient justement essayé de relier. Mais il y a une idée, c'est que la forme canonique formalise ça, mais d'une manière complètement différente que de manière catégorielle, puisqu'elle est formée dialectiquement par réduction des contradictions. C'est so, another way of uh, trying to, 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 to catch something and uh, yeah. I don't know. Um, until uh, yesterday uh, night. 
I thought I, I would I could give at least this group theoretic interpretation in the in the more butter, and uh, I thought it would kind of uh, bear out uh, exactly Levi Strauss theory of the, oh, the, the, the more butter system. They, uh, they had a, a rather simple uh, pattern moiety system, and they were convinced by their neighbor tribe uh, to to adopt an an eight uh, eight section system. Well, I was just sharing this. The work oh, yeah. 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 So yeah, this is mm. in terms of uh, of group theory. So well, I, I don't know how you feel, but we have a lot of theory very. Can you say so? Can nice. you say so? Yes. 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 To new generations, uh, and more problems with these articles than to solve them, and some of them uh, end up being just false. Uh, so it's to be handled with a lot of care. Uh, you don't know about, and maybe in here I'm guessing it's I, okay I, because I would have mm, answered it. I, I I thought it was a really cool interpretation of this more and better system, but uh, uh, yesterday night uh, I they. I'm not even sure that this was a quadrionic group, and so I I didn't I, I had a, I had a large section on on this, uh, and and I would have exposed the the Morava uh, because it's not easy uh, to to find out from this uh, archive paper uh, what he really does, and uh, I, I had a more explicit write up of it, and uh, thought I had a really good uh, structure because. They they more butter they they adopt this eight section systems, but they, they don't want to split up their pattern moieties. And in this dihedral wall theory system, which is uh, of a rounder type, uh, it's called uh, the the matter cycles uh, are long four, but the pattern cycles are sh uh, are short. The, and uh, this means that uh, the father and son uh, are not uh, longer in the same skin. And uh, uh, in the pattern moiety, they had uh, uh, the, the son and father were always in the same uh, moiety in the same group, and so they they adopt a system where the fathers. Uh, I mean, I can write it down. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I I got this from a, from a paper of uh, the dissertation from Barbara Tchaikovsky on an easy system how. I shouldn't. It, it, it looks in principle like the dihedral system of the, the, the you have the, the four ma matricycles and four and five and here which circles here and because they want to adapt, uh, uh, adopt the long cycles uh, how they they must do for the around the system. It's a question of prestige to have this, this system. But uh, since they don't want to, and then they have, uh, well, uh, the second long mother cycle here, I I, I don't know if I, uh, but it, it's just, uh, well, a, a second uh, I mean, So they, they have the second uh, circle, but now the, the fathers, they, they go in, in long circles, in, in four circles. So, and uh, so the, it's like a, a, compromise, a compromise between the old system where father and uh, son were always in one group and, and uh, the new uh, system with the, with the, uh, with the long matter cycles. And I thought that this is exactly a diagram for the uh, for the uh, for the quaternion group, and then you can interpret the formula of of the. But uh, yesterday night it didn't work out. Uh, so I dropped it.
it's it's kind of interesting how it's uh, so it does I, I must have written up this system it looks funny i was a bit uh, disturbed also because in this system uh, uh, people could uh, could make two marriages in the in the uh, the Hazard system is uh, once you know uh, that uh, you have uh, a mother here and the father there, but then there's one marriage, and of course, the other groups uh, couldn't remarry. But in this system, uh, there are uh, several po possibilities uh, uh, two possibilities for every group to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to marry. And my intuition wa was that uh, this whole society works. Uh, uh, because they also have uh, groups that uh, actually obey the rules of the dihedral with the short patricide. So my idea was you, you got this uh, D8 system and then you got two of uh, two of systems with the long cycle and this double twist uh, of Levi Strauss is exactly between these, these two kinds uh, with the long uh, patricide. Uh, I thought it must be a sort of uh, like a reversal of the patricide. But when I tried to, to write it down, I saw a lot of problems with my, my idea. But I, I don't think that uh, Levi Strauss is so different from, from I, everybody wants to formalize it. Uh, this, uh, for me, I, I have a sort of love-hate uh, relation because even if one comes up with a good uh, interpretation, uh, it's a bit cook, cooked up. I mean, uh, even there, uh, of course, I look uh, in uh, every kinship system to look for a quaternion group and uh, to find an example. And uh, so it's like imposing uh, a, a pattern with this. Uh, in the end, maybe even if one finds it meaningless, because it's like the, the APU types, the Shakespeare, if you helps uh, long enough. Well, thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, we can start. Uh, yeah, I don't know if Guillaume is still there. Of course. On s'en tient là, Guillaume. Yes. Oui, oui, je vais arrêter l'enregistrement. Oui. D'accord. Tu m'envoies comme d'habitude.